if your website is low on storage then i'm pretty sure you have encountered a lot of problems and i'm not just talking about the inability to add more content to the website but also the website might feel a bit slower and perhaps impossible to visit because it cannot generate and store the data that is supposed to be delivered to your visitors Launch storage really sucks and trust me i have been there so in this video i'm going to show you some of the best ways to free up space in wordpress that you can do it right now so let's get into it okay for the first method i'm sure a lot of you have been using some sort of image compression plugins in wordpress there are so many options out there and they have different techniques to achieve the desired result but i'm not going to be talking about what image compression plugin you should be using i think they are more or less the same what i'm proposing here is to compress the compressed image again okay i know that sounds crazy you cannot compress the same image twice and two compression plugins cannot live together in wordpress because of the conflicts it is true unless if you disable one plugin and let the other to operate for example i use smash to perform the first reduction and then i deactivated the plugin and activated tiny png to compress the images even more the results vary per image the first compression can shrink the size up to 50 percent but the second compression with a different plugin might only save a few kilobytes per image which is tiny but if you have tons of images this could translate to hundreds of megabytes and even gigabytes of free storage simply by compressing the same images again so yeah go ahead and use multiple image compression plugins to squeeze out every kilobyte from those images just don't do it too much or it will ruin the image quality for the next point we are going to be still talking about images because honestly they are the biggest offenders for most website now that you have done the image compression twice it seems like there is no other way to shrink the image size even further but that's not true a lot of people are using jpeg or png as the main file formats for everyday images there is nothing wrong with this format they're actually good enough and perhaps still improving but that's not even close to webp webp is a web friendly image format since it takes less space compared to other popular image formats how much less well it depends but usually you can expect the image to be about 20 to 30 percent smaller compared to other formats so if you need an even drastic reduction you can use a plugin like images to webp to convert existing images to the webp format and if you have bng files with some transparency in it webp does support transparency too even better you can replace gif with webp since it also can display animation just like gif but a lot smaller so go ahead and convert those images to webp and you will be surprised by how much space you can save with this technique okay for the next tip this is kind of obvious but i've seen a lot of people ignoring this practice picture this you have a video that you have created specifically for your blog post you have two options do you want to upload it to your website or do you want to upload it to youtube if you choose to upload the video to youtube then you'll be right because this is one of the best ways to store videos on the internet the vast majority of web hostings are not really designed to store videos you are probably only getting 5 or 10 gigabytes of storage for your website which is fine but this is not going to be enough to store long form videos and uploading the video to youtube just makes business sense because it will unlock the possibility for the video to be discovered by millions of people attracting more audience to your business and in case you still want to upload the video directly to your website then i highly recommend to convert the video to an optimized format like webm because it is a lot smaller and then only after that you can upload the video to your wordpress website wordpress regularly produces junk data like transients post revisions and trust items that are no longer useful for your website these are usually just a few kilobytes or megabytes in size but i've been dealing with a website with more than two gigabytes of junk data so always clean up your database from these unused items you can use plugins like wp optimize and advanced database cleaner to perform the cleanup but some hostings and caching plugins do offer this feature as well be sure to check them out okay let's move on all right for the next point this is not really freeing up space in wordpress but rather adding more storage for a lot of hostings, upgrading storage means you have to upgrade to a higher plan. This means a more powerful CPU, bigger RAM, and more expensive cost overall. 
this is a waste of money especially if you just want to upgrade the storage and you don't need the extra computing power fortunately some hostings let you to upgrade the storage without upgrading the server for example i'm using cloudways and it offers a block storage where i can add an extra 10 gigabytes for just one dollar a month this is a lot more economical than paying for resources that you will never need most web hostings don't advertise this on their website but i still encourage you to just ask to see if you could arrange a deal where you are allowed to just upgrade the storage for a cheaper price but if your hosting don't allow you to do something like that then i guess there is not much we can do about it but perhaps the next point will intrigue you this method is going to require some strategic and creative works because every website has different needs but the benefit would be massive i'm talking about plugins and no it is not just deleting unused plugins you should obviously do that i'm talking about something more fundamental you could reduce the number of plugins in wordpress without really affecting the overall features and functionalities in a basic term, plugins are bringing features from outside of WordPress into WordPress. For instance, there are tons of image compression plugins, but it is not like these tools are only accessible in WordPress. Theoretically, you could just ditch the image compression plugin and compress your images using an external tool before uploading them to your website. The result would be the same. How about the backup plugin? Well, you could remove it as well. Since most hostings do over automatic backup, a dedicated backup plugin is redundant. How about firewalls and security plugins that protect your site from malicious traffic? Well, you could assign that to Cloudflare to filter traffic automatically. And if you want to know how much people come into your website, you don't really need SiteKit. You could just use Google Search Console or Google Analytics to know that info. And there are so many other examples out there. In your WordPress website, I'm sure there are some plugins that could be replaced or uploaded by some external tools. This way, you could remove some plugins, bring up some space, and make your website easier to manage. This is a very interesting topic that I have made a dedicated video about it. So if you want to reduce dependency on plugins and make your website a lot faster, then check out this video and I'll see you there.